Hey guys, welcome back inside the toy room. So I spent my birthday moving things around. G.I. Joe used to be in here. Yeah, I'm displaying a cup of soda. Yep. And um, I've now moved G.I. Joe to the Lego room, which is what this room used to be. So there's still Lego in here. You know, we'll go through all that. But now... G.I. Joe is going to reside on the large open space because I got the base. <clears throat> so I still have to rearrange all that, of course. You know, figures are just lying about willy nilly. But I got. Wait a minute, have you ever thought about that Willy Nilly? Like, was there some guy named Willy, or maybe his name was Willy Nilly, and he just laid around all lazily and flopped around? I don't know. Why do we use that phrase? Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, ended up going up here. I installed new lights for this one. This is where the Funko Pops used to be. These two card backs are unpunched, so I didn't want to hang them up and ruin the punch. I put the rest of them over here hanging up next to my Babylon 5 collection. Top two are signed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that impressive? I don't care. And uh, we got the Outrider with Dash Rendar and Prince Zizor. Thanks to Andy at Hollow Chronicles. I have my Dagobah playset. And then we put the Man Tech figures in there. All three bad guys and all three good guys. The DeLorean. Halo. And then we have my Diamond Select figures. Tron and Black Hole down there. And then in the big cabinet where G.I. Joe used to be. I've got my Space Adventure. Uh, Playmobil people. You know, new, new modern versions. And the old like retro 70s, 80s styles. My Legion of Power is there. Then we come up to Robotics. An empty shelf to be used for something new. <laughs> it's always cool to come up with empty space. And then we have my 12 inch G.I. Joes from the 60s. Two of them there with some gear. My A team, da, 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 da. and the uh, Mach Five, which has just been sitting. It's believe it or not, the Mach Five has been on the couch for four years because I've never had a place to put it. <laughs> this dude that I won in a job lot in a modern GI Joe, and then we have my Geonosian battle with the Republic dropship coming down and everyone fighting around I love the the one that gets cut in half I think that's a cool figure <clears throat> looks like that droid's about to fall over yeah there's lots of droids clones Geonosians all the Jedi you can see them all in there Lots of Jedi fighting and everything, so it's cool. My only foreign Transformer. And Tex Transformer. And my G.I. Joe. Which he might hang in the other room now. I might put Roadblock on the Action Force card in the other room now. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. But let's get on to what today's video is really about. Star Wars? No. Well, maybe it's Star Wars. We just don't know. We just don't know. Shabby Mark, Shabby Geek, sent me a birthday gift. And uh, it arrived yesterday. It arrived on my birthday, so it was perfect timing. But um, I didn't. I was doing all this other stuff yesterday, and I, I didn't open it. So I told Shabby I would open it today. So here we go. I've, I've just... Un I just sliced the box and took the labels off, but I haven't seen what's inside yet. We're, we're doing this totally new with you. Sh 
Shabby Geek. To my friend John, happy birthday. Woohoo. Hope you like your presents. Cheers, mate. Shabby. Thank you, Shabby. This is a beautiful card. I will cherish it forever. <laughs> yeah, that'll go in the letters pile. I do keep all the letters, of course. Airbags. Oh no, a piece of popcorn fell. Oh, I see what this is already. This is cool. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but they're like... Reconnoiter. They're kind of generic Transformers, but they're really cool. Look at that shuttle guy. Neat. This looks like it's modeled after... Um... The aerial bots. Superion, right? Cool. Now, I opened one of these. I opened the Bruticus one. This is cool because I don't have this one. I only bought the Bruticus one when Shabby... Shabby showed these online. He found a bunch of them. And I was absolutely intrigued. And uh, found out, found where to find them, and I got the Bruticus one and found out that they do not transform. The individual ones on each section did not transform, at least for mine. But these, oh yeah, they turned into um, their respective vehicle parts, but they didn't turn into a robot. That's what the problem was. So they could transform into a vehicle, but not into the robot mode for each of the small parts. So, like, this arm will turn into a jet, but it won't turn into that robot, you know? That was the problem. Actually, it was that robot, wasn't it? So, yeah. But I'm wondering about these other guys, because these add-ons might transform into robots. That'd be cool. All right, let's see what's next. We got another one here. Hopefully he didn't get me Bruticus, so there's no duplicates. Oh, cool. On fall mobile. Okay, this is another jet one. Ooh, it's got water walk in it. And he does look like he'll transform. So there's a water walk gobot inside there, and he looks like he'll transform into the robot. That's pretty cool. So this could be. One of the GoBot combiners. I'm not sure, actually. I don't remember this one being a Transformer. I'm not. You're going to have to let me know in the comments below. Was this a Transformer or a GoBot that had space shuttle arms, jet airplane feet, and I can't tell what the body was, would have been. Let's see the back of the box, see if this tells us anything. Back shows this spaceship guy with like a thing who can ride in it. I mean, this could be one that we just never got in the States also. You know, there's lots of things that came out in Japan for Transformers that we never got here in the States. And the last one, oh, cool. It's the train one. Now this I know did came up train and prize he did come in in the united states eventually but he was later in the line so a lot of people didn't get him but look at that little train one that one that one will transform that's cool and this cool um battleship looks like it'll transform that's cool this guy looks neat i like this guy a lot this guy's really cool wow Wow, wow, wow. Thanks a lot, Chabby. This is awesome. I'm so happy to have these. You guys don't even know. This is so cool. I I really like like transforming robots and generic transforming robots are just as fun as real ones. I think mainly because I enjoy the um the style of them. I like the artwork. I think that's pretty cool. I like the style of the packaging and the way they do these things. And it's just really, really neat. I just like 
generic transforming robots and and the real ones gobots and transformers and all those in case you're wondering why i'm not using the uh the table because my corner this is the corner where i normally do all my reviewing and stuff and unboxings is just a mess right now so <laughs> When you work on things like that and clean up over there, you clean up on one side and this side becomes a mess. <laughs> That's what happens. So today's goal is to get that, but I wanted to do this and get it out there because I told Shabby I would do it. And uh, I'm very thankful that he sent me this birthday gift. I, I'm overjoyed, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm floored. I'm, I'm so thankful. You know, Mark, um, you're really, really nice, and I really appreciate getting these guys. This is so cool. So I got to figure out. They're going to hang up somewhere around here. I'm going to... Actually, they might hang up right here. I've been thinking, look at this. I can hang so much right here. <laughs> so they might get hung up there. <laughs> every space. You have to think of every single space that you can possibly use in a toy room and, and uh yeah see like i wedged a shelf in there and bart can sit under the tv <laughs> so every available space gets used all right thanks a lot shabby i really appreciate this and uh i'm john i'm out of here we'll talk to you guys in the next one see ya